That's okay. It's all good. She it's said, what fun. was your most difficult videography challenge and how did you overcome this? Okay. That's I've, a great I, I have got to tell this story and I knew it was coming. <laughs> okay, here we go. Story time. Yes. So I mentioned earlier about Strange of the Familiars, right? This is the yes. very first show of theirs that I filmed of theirs. So this was at a a, a bar. Um, I don't and not a grill, but it was it was an exotic bar. Let's just say uh, okay. where dancers come out after the show. Let's just say as well too. So okay. I'll keep it that far for right now. So I go to this show, and I'm going to upload a short of this here in a of the performance I did. I uploaded a couple of years ago. Um, I'll film on the or upload in, in the two year anniversary. So I'm getting, I'm going all over the place. So I go, I go to Dante's this night, right? It's dark out and everything late November. And, and this is like, we we're still wearing masks and all that. And so I go there that night and I like, they're rehearsing and everything strange familiars are and all that. And like, I'm clapping loudly, like just out of fandom, right? Like I just love it and how awesome they sound. And me and Stephanie, you know, we talk for a little bit. We sit down, talk about it and everything. And I was in my PTA mode, my Paul Thomas Anderson mode, because at the time, Licorice Pizza was coming out in theaters. So there's these two elevated platforms, right? One on the right, one on the left. The right is like right above this circular bar, okay? So there is like a bar that's here and there's like drinks or so against this wall and like, and she can, and the, and the, the bartender can actually walk around. Like there's like a brickery kind of bridge and all that. So they, they can walk to the other side basically. And so there's that, there's the elevator platform up above there. I don't know how many feet, I'm not very good with my feet and all that. Uh, it's it's hard to say. I want to say 12 feet, maybe a little bit further up and all that. And then there's another that was the same way as well, too. Not a bar or anything like that. Um, that was like high up. So I came up with the bright idea that night to uh, I just thought of a crazy idea of like, what if I climbed up on these this? It was like it was like such a way like this, like kind of like wooden, uh, like, I don't know what you call it, like a wooden kind of thing. And it's almost like a tree house in a sense where it's wooden, but then it's got like those steps and all that you can climb up and all that. And right. keep in mind, keep in mind, this was right before I got my, my, my rig and all that. So I was filming on my phone, not the, the phone case that I got. Um, <laughs> And it was like falling apart. Well, I don't want to say, I mean, I think some of it was falling apart. Maybe it wasn't. It was a couple of years ago. Um, I had to think forward. So I had this idea of just like, what if I climbed up like the, the, uh, the, you know, the steps and all that, or, you know, the handles and go up there and film from high above. Right. Yeah. And same thing for the left. And I asked the guy, I think he was like a ticket taker or something like that and all. Um, I was on the list as well, too, obviously, since I was filming. And I asked him, like, hey, you know, would it be okay? Would it be cool if I, like, climb up there and, you know, just, like, film? And he's like, yeah, sure, brother, whatever he said at the time, right? So <laughs> so I, I decided, like, I, I'm just mapping this out in my head. Like, okay, I'm going to film some shows, like, start on the floor at the beginning, right? And uh, I know I'm skipping ahead and all. So That's like okay. I'm filming on the floor. So I think it was like a couple on the right on the floor and then a couple on the left. And I think maybe one more time for each. And then I would go up uh, both the left or the right or the other way around, whichever it was. And I would like climb up there and I would film. And like <laughs> I, I get up there. And I think even like before the show happened and even during the show, like – I, I climb up there and I'm filming, like I'm holding my camera like this or like this, right? Yeah. And I shit you not, <laughs> I was so fucking scared. I bet. Up there. 
I was, oh my gosh. I was so terrified. I was so terrified. And like, it was like a, a bar or so, right? Like, it's not a cage. It's not oh nothing. Nothing. That's crazy. Nothing. It's That's like a bar. Yeah, it's nothing. situated. Huh. Yeah. And like, while I'm filming, like, I am grabbing onto the bar and I'm like walking back oh so slowly and i and i do the dumbest thing where i'm like looking down but i'm trying to watch my feet so i'm not like look like that or anything yeah so that happens and i remember on the right side one of the parts like when i was (laughs) (laughs) see you see what happens this is all your fault jessica no i'm kidding (laughs) but we're gonna have words next month i promise no. Um, yeah, I love you, Jess. So you too. Were good. <laughs> um, so, so I remember like one part, so I was on the right side and everything and I'm filming. And I remember at one point, I remember the bartender, like she, she's like all the way down there. I mean, this is not like this, this is not high up, not like, not like a crane or anything where it's like wickedly high up, not like that by any means. Thank God it's not right. Um, <laughs> And no dancers or anything like they're completely empty from the very beginning like they would come out after uh the show basically and so like i while i was filming all that too like i remember the the bartender down below like she's like looking up and asking me quietly it's like are you okay and i'm like yeah so (laughs) so yeah but walking like leaving dante's that night and i even i was talking to my uber driver about this but to be honest as freaky as that was, I was extremely proud of myself. And here's why. Because the night before, I saw the James Bond film, No Time to Die. And you know, like in, in James Bond movies, there's like all these, you know, explosions and so many crazy things that are going on. But it's just for me, like it was another, like it was a level up for me as a videographer yeah. because – I tested my fear. Like, yeah, I was scared shitless, but <laughs> I was, I'm sorry for cursing, but it's no, just, okay. it's fine here. You're okay. We're all adults here. Right. So yes. apologies to my family. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I just like, I'm up there and, or not up there. What am I saying? <laughs> so like, I was proud of myself. I really was yeah. like as traumatized as I did that to myself. I was still extremely proud of myself because I, oh. I <laughs> yeah, climb like Eddie better. Yes. Shout out to Animal. So, <laughs> so one of the Pearl Jam songs. Yes. I used that on the Instagram story. This industry does to all of us. It pushes our limits. We get out of our comfort zone. Yep. And in the end, it, it, it usually works out for all of us and it looks yes. badass, you know? Right. Like, oh, yeah. it does. It's yeah. totally worth it. And I was extremely Sometimes proud of myself. Scars, but still totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and when I upload that short, I'm just I'm just gonna think to myself, man. I just gotta <laughs> I go like this. I'm like, what the hell did I do to myself? Right. But also, I'm proud of myself for what I did. It's all for the art. <laughs> exactly. And, you know what? It's all part of the experience of being yeah. a yes. photographer. Yeah. It yeah. is. It is capturing the moments. It is. And the thing for me, like the mantra, like one of the biggest mantras, I feel like I don't say this enough and I need to, but something that risky happens. Like I'm just like, cause I am so ingrained in, into this business, whether it's in film or whether it's in music or television or pro wrestling or any of those that I, I am just so passionate about. I, I live and die by that code of like, I will die for this business. I will, <laughs> if something happens, if I fall over, I will die doing what I love. I'll die and I will, doing what I love. I've said that before too. Yep. I think zero regrets. 